Um, Mr. Chairman, you asked me to review where we had been and how we got to where we were. And I was saying to my colleagues today, I was with um, a number of superintendents from the Cape last Friday at the senators and legislators meeting. And while I was, I try never to be smug, um, I was sitting there feeling somewhat satisfied that our budget was what I thought completed. And so 61,199,693. Dollars to um, fund the school department. And in so funding, the presentation that I gave last week said that uh, the budget as submitted supported all current educational programs, that it maintained elementary classes at between 20, 16 and 22 students per class, that it provided for full day kindergarten as an academic program at no fee that there would, in fact, be some slight increases in some class sizes at Barnstable High School, that we would reassign some administrative responsibilities at the middle school, and that we would do some reorganizing and restructuring of services for students and programs in student enrichment and student support, and that I acknowledged that we, would that we had to continue to uh, move to tightening our belt and reinforcing that there really is no fat left budget of 61199693. This morning when I got to work, there was an email from Mark Milne, Chief Financial Officer for the Town of Barnstable, and I have copies for the committee. Thus to Mark's very justifiable concerns that the economy continues to be of a concern to both he and the town treasurer, and that they were relooking and reanalyzing their revenue projections for next year and in so doing felt required to alert us to the fact that they would be reducing our, reoccur our recurring revenue, um, which I had projected in earlier budget presentations as $57,585,000. They would be reducing that by $360,000. He originally put in 61199 as our request for the budget. Our reoccurring revenue, instead of being 57,585, would actually be 57,225, $360,000 less than we anticipated. The committee said that we could use 300, excuse me, $3,618,000 as long as we remain of reserve money, as long as there was a million dollars in the savings account. Um, in order to do that. Our new request would have to be $60,843,000. I began um, by meeting with um, my, the central office colleagues, and we had a, uh, a meeting for about an hour and a half. Um, and Mark Milne was gracious enough to come in and, and speak to us about his. Uh, reduction um, projection. And at that time, the consensus of the central office administrative team was that we should reconvene our full team. Um, my compliments again to, to the principals. Um, it was fortuitous for most of us because it was an early dismissal day today for conferences, so many of the principals were able to attend. Um, some people changed doctor's appointments, redid their schedule, and we all met for about an hour and a half this afternoon. Um, what that additional $360,000 revenue reduction would mean for us, and we spent a long time talking about this, we have analyzed this budget so deeply that the question of can you take another $360,000 and still maintain your original budget recommendations Collectively, we felt the answer was no. That the committee asked um, for me and, and the, my fellow administrators to be fiscally responsible. And I said to you early on in my initial budget presentations that as an educator, I felt that we absolutely had to have full day kindergarten. As your fiscal agent, I was concerned about the risk I was taking in putting that forward. Throughout the past month and a half, we have had a very thoughtful, very extensive, very well-examined budget process, which got us to where we were last week. But if I go back to my last statement on this particular slide that says, we continue to move to tightening the belt and reinforcing that there is no fat. 
$360,000 goes deeply into programs and services that we do not feel comfortable going into. And we are at a tipping point where is it worth recommending the correction of a program that we feel needs correction, i.e., the full day kindergarten program, at the cost that it would then have at other programs throughout the district. And the collective agreement today was that, no, we did not feel comfortable doing that. So that being said, what we would like to do um, in meeting the challenge of reducing the budget by $360,000 is recommend to the committee that kindergarten maintain as a program as half day as it is currently, that there be a four fee option for full day, and that we will reexamine the program and the fee structure to try and accomplish two things. Through creativity, can we reorganize the program somewhat, maybe even extend it by an hour 